In this brief video, we will demonstrate the technique of percutaneous dilational tracheostomy in eight steps using a Siaglia Brew Rhino kit. The procedure is performed as if for control of the acutely compromised airway and therefore deviates from the intended approach as there is no fiber optic bronchoscopy. The equipment required for percutaneous dilational tracheostomy is packaged in a standard Siaglia Blue Rhino kit manufactured by Cook Medical. Necessary equipment for safe and efficient technique are shown here and it include from left to right a disposable 15 blade scalpel, a mosquito clamp, a 15 gauge introducer needle on syringe partially filled with saline, a J wire, a 14 French tracheal dilator, a hydrophilic coated Siaglia Blue Rhino percutaneous dilator preloaded over a Siaglia tracheostomy guiding catheter, a number 8 shyly cuffed percutaneous tracheostomy tube preloaded snugly on a 28 French dilator, a tracheostomy inner cannula, and finally the tracheostomy adapter for bag mask ventilation or the ventilator. The procedure begins with identification of surface landmarks. In this view, the patient's head is to the right. First, the thyroid and cricoid cartilages are found cranially the sternal notch caudally, and the incision is planned for approximately midway between these landmarks. A vertical 1.5 centimeter midline incision is made, and the subcutaneous fat and paratracheal muscles are bluntly dissected with the mosquito clamp. This allows the underlying trachea to be palpated. The 15 gauge introducer needle on a partially fluid filled syringe is inserted into the trachea with the bevel down and approximately one centimeter caudal to the cricoid cartilage. Tracheal entry is confirmed with aspiration of air and bubbling into the fluid-filled syringe. The syringe is removed, a J-wire is introduced through the needle into the trachea, and the needle is removed, leaving the guide wire in place. Next, the short 14 French tracheal dilator is introduced over the guide wire to create a pathway. The hydrophilic coated blue rhino dilator, moistened with saline and fitted over the guiding catheter, is advanced over the guide wire as an assembly and into the trachea. The blue rhino dilator is removed, leaving the guiding catheter and guide wire in place. The number 8 cuff tracheostomy tube, preloaded on the 28 French dilator, is advanced as a unit into the trachea over the guiding catheter and guide wire. The guiding catheter, guide wire, and dilator are withdrawn. The tracheostomy cuff is then inflated. Lastly, the inner cannula is introduced, the tracheostomy adapter is placed for bag mask or mechanical ventilation, and the tracheostomy is secured with sutures or a soft collar. 